Okay, we're gonna set up a randomizer for a battle for Bikini Bottom. So you want to click, uh, you want to go to Dolphin website and then click on this nice blue link here. And then you'll click on either Windows if you have Windows, Mac, or if you really want to try it on Android, you can do that too. And you'll just want to download that wherever. I put it on my desktop. And then we also want Industrial Park, which is the level editor. And as you can see here, it says randomizer. This is where we'll get the randomizer from. Um, you want to download preview.zip and put that wherever. I also have mine on the desktop too. So we'll go to that. And I have it in a random folder. And you also want a um, disk image of Battle for Bikini Bottom. So whether you get it online, whether you get it from your Wii ripping it or whatever, you just want that. So we're going to open Dolphin. And mine might look a bit different than what yours would look like, but I have some setup already done. So, um, yeah, we'll click on config here. And I already have some paths, so I'm going to remove these two, though. So yeah, we're gonna wanna add that one ISO image that you saw before. So we'll go to desktop and rando wherever, whatever folder it's in. And it just added it to the list. So we'll come to the, the newly added file, properties, or right click properties, and then we'll come over to file system here. And if you right click on the disk, you'll get three options, file, system data, and entire disk. You wanna click on it, extract entire disk. And I'm just going to put it in this extracted folder. And this, as you can see, it starts saying B2 and B3. These are the level files and what's pretty much needed to run the game. So it'll extract all of this stuff out for you. Instead of being an ISO, it'll be each of these files. And then we can go on and randomize these. And then go on to play that randomized files. So it's done, we're gonna click close, and then we're gonna come back to paths. And we're gonna add that brand new thing that we just extracted here. So extract it wherever you put it, and then sys. You wanna make sure you click on sys, and it'll add it yet another thing. And this one will say 0, 0.00, and that's exactly what we want it to be, so. Now we wanna go over to the game files here and you're just gonna wanna copy this entire folder and paste it. And we're gonna use this as a backup folder so that when we are done randomizing and you wanna play a different like set of randomized files, um, you don't get the effects stacking. So I can just name this backup or something like that. And now we're going to go on to actually randomizing. So you'll come to industrial park. You'll click on the randomizer.exe. And you'll get a big list of stuff. Um, if you go to this wiki page here, battlepedia.org slash randomizer, it'll tell you what each of these settings do. So warps randomizes warps. Tiki types might replace wood tikis with thunder tikis and such. And you can just set this up. The sides that you choose a maximum. So move point radius is enemy attack range. So it can either be anywhere from 1.8 to 0.9. And you can change all these however you want. And then seed. If you want to play this with someone else, you can give them the same seed. And the randomization should be the same. And then when you're done with all this, you're going to want to choose your backup directory. And it's that folder we just called backup or whatever you want to name it, it doesn't really matter. And then game directory is the file. So it'll pull from the backup and put it into your game directory so that your randomizations don't stack and then everything works as intended. So when you're done with that, you'll click perform and you'll get this uh, alert saying you gotta download editor files. And these are um, basically enemies the tikis, the shiny object gate numbers, characters and such. And it'll take a bit of time because if you choose allow any type of enemies, it'll have to add like 10 sets of enemies to each level. 
and the gates will have to add the numbers over the gates but um it might take a minute or so about the same time as dolphin took to extract the disc so when this is finished It'll tell you that it's done. Um, a warps log is added and your settings file is saved. So if we come back and we load the settings file, it'll give us this exact same set of settings that we chose if you want to play the same thing again. And yeah, the warps log as it said is down here. If you open it, it'll tell you where, like if normally leaving the pineapple will warp you to the hub but it'll tell you where pineapple will warp you for randomizer. So now we can go back over to dolphin. And if we click on the zero byte thing, which is the sys file we added for randomizer, it should take a few seconds to open. And as you can see, it's loading. And we load it in. So now if I connect my controller. As you can see, it's all randomized. All the colors are changed, spatulas and such are moved around, and yeah. That's how you set up randomizer.